Hello, this is Dr. Imran. I am going to present to you the lecture 2 of the course Electrical Engineering Fundamentals. And this lecture will have the following topics that is, the current, voltage, power, independent, and dependent sources. So let's start. What is current? The transfer of charge or charge in motion from one place to another place is called current. Let's consider this figure in order to understand about the current. This is a cylindrical structure having some individual charges shown by these red spots. While the charges go into the body from this side and go out of the body from this side. So if we consider the cross-sectional area here, then the charges will pass through this cross-sectional area in a unit time, then that will constitute a current. And this phenomenon is shown by this mathematical equation, I is equal to dq or dt. We consider another definition of the current. Let's suppose that the charges go into the cylindrical structure at time t naught and go out of the cylindrical structure at time t. The charge transferred between time t naught and t may be expressed by a definite in integral. Integral of the charges at t naught to t dq is equal to the integral of the current between time t naught to t. This is another definition of the current. Moving a charge from one point to another point results in a transfer of energy from one point to another. The unit of current is ampere. So when one coulomb of charge passes a unit cross-section area, then it constitutes an one ampere of current. There are different types of current, for example, direct current, alternating current, exponential current, and damped alternating current. So what is direct current? Direct current is one directional flow of electric charge that is that does not change its direction. And this phenomenon is shown by this figure. If we consider time t on x-axis and current i on y-axis, then you can see this red line shows the direct current. It does not change its direction and it also remains constant and does not fluctuate. So what is an alternating current? Alternating current is an electric current which periodically reverses direction and changes its magnitude continuously with time. You can see this figure. If we take time t on x-axis and i on y-axis, then the, this red waveform shows an alternating current. So you can clearly see that it changes its direction periodically while it's also changes its magnitude, that is, its magnitude increases and decreases. What is an exponential current? Exponential current is the flow of electric charge exponentially. This figure shows the exponential current. So what is damp alternating current? It's an alternating current with oscillatory behavior. This figure shows the damped alternating current. Again, if we take time t on x-axis and i on y-axis, then this waveform shows a damped alternating current. Initially, the amplitude of the alternating current is higher, but with respect to time, it decreases. What is voltage? The charges at rest situation is called voltage. We take this figure in order to understand about voltage. This is a circuit element having one terminal A and another terminal B. Suppose that a current is sent to a terminal A of this circuit element and back out of terminal B. So the pushing of charge through the element requires an expenditure of energy. Hence, the voltage is the amount of energy required to move charge from one place to another or it is potential difference exists between two terminals. The unit of voltage is volt and it is one joule of work done by one coulomb of charge. What is power? Power is the measure of the rate of energy transfer. 
If one joule of energy is consumed in transferring one coulomb of charge through the device in one second, then the rate of energy transfer will be one watt. And power can also be shown by this formula. P is equal to V I V. V indicates the voltage and I indicates the current. What is source? Source may be a voltage source and source may be a current source. It is a two terminal device whose voltage or current at any instant of time is constant. Source can be of two types that is independent source and dependent source. So what is an independent source? It can generate its own voltage and current and does not depend on any other voltage source or current source. What is an independent voltage source? It maintains a constant voltage across its two terminals independent of the current drawn from it. What is independent current source? It maintains a constant current across the two terminals. This is the best example of the independent voltage or current source. You can see the two terminals of this source. One terminal is the positive terminal of this source and another terminal is the negative terminal of this source. If no external resistor is connected to these two terminals of the source, then that will behave like an independent voltage source. And if, for example, a resistor is connected like this to the external terminals of this voltage source, then it becomes a current source. It becomes an independent current source. This is the symbol of the independent voltage source and this is the symbol of the independent current source. Let's move towards the dependent source. What are dependent sources? It cannot generate its own voltage and current and depend on any other voltage source or current source for it. So there are normally four different kinds of dependent voltage sources as shown. The voltage control voltage source, the voltage control current source, the current control voltage source, the current control current source. Voltage control voltage source is shown by this symbol while VCD is equal to mu VAB. We will discuss about this mathematical equation in my next PPT. Voltage control current source is shown normally by this symbol with this relation, right? While current control voltage source is shown by this symbol with this relation. Current control current source is shown by this symbol and the output current of this current source is shown by this relation. We take the voltage control voltage source here in this PPT first and discuss in detail. We consider two port circuit to understand about the voltage control voltage source. So this is a two port network, right? Having two input terminals A and B and having two output terminals C and D. If voltage is applied at the two input terminals A and B, it develops a voltage VAB here in this two port network while this diamond shaped sh structure shows the voltage control voltage source having voltage VCD and the VCD is taken at the output two terminals C and D. So what's the relation between VCD and VAB and this can be shown by this formula VCD is equal to mu VAB while mu can be shown by this equation VCD or VAB and that is called voltage gain. As far as the practical example of the voltage control voltage source is concerned, the field effect transistor in an amplifier circuit acts as a practical example. If we see this figure, it shows a field effect transistor used in an amplifier circuit. Field effect transistor normally have uh, three terminals the gate terminal, the source terminal and the drain terminal. The input voltage is applied at the two terminals, gate and source, while the output voltage is obtained at these two terminals between the gate and the source. At any change in the input voltage applied at the gates to source terminals will affect the output voltage obtained between the drain and source terminals. But if we apply the input voltage here, between the gate and source terminals, it will affect the output voltage between drain and source terminals. Hence, it is a perfect practical example to understand about the voltage control voltage source. Voltage control current source. 
we again consider the two port circuit to understand about the voltage control consoles. Consider this two port network. If we apply voltage at input A and B terminals, it develops VAB voltage at the input of this uh, port network. While if you see this diamond shaped structure, it shows the voltage control current source having current ICD. And that ICD is taken at the output terminal C and D. So what's the relation between the output current ICD and the input voltage VAB? That can be shown by this formula. ICD is equal to GVAB. So what is G is the ratio between ICD and VAB and that is called transconductance. A is for is the practical example of the voltage control current source is concerned. The field effect transistor used in an amplifier circuit can be taken as the practical example of the voltage control current source. Here you see that any change in the input voltage applied between the gate and source terminal will affect the output current ID, which is the drain current. ID current in this case can be taken as the output current while the voltage applied between the gate and source can be taken as the input voltage. Hence, it's a perfect practical example to understand about the voltage control current source. What is current control voltage source? We again consider the two ports network in order to understand about the current control voltage source. If we apply current at the input terminals A and B, it develops current at the input of this two port network. While this diamond shape structure shows the voltage source dependent on the applied current IAB. So what's the relation between the output voltage VCD and the input current IAB? That can be shown by this formula. VCD is equal to R IAB and R is the ratio of the VCD to IAB and this is normally called trans resistance. As far as the practical example of the current control voltage source is concerned, bipolar junction transistor which is used in an amplifier circuit gives a perfect example of the current control voltage source. If you see here, this is the base terminal of the transistor, this is the collector terminal of the transistor and this is the emitter terminal of the transistor. Any change in this IB current which is the input or which is the applied current to this transistor will affect the output voltage which is taken between the collector and emitter terminal here. So it's a perfect example of the current control voltage source. What is current control current source? We consider two ports networks again in order to understand about the current control current source. If we apply current at the two input ports A and B, it will develop IAB current at the input of these two port network. And if you see this diamond shaped structure, it shows the current control source controlled by input current IAB. And the current of this current control source is ICD, which is taken as an output current between terminal C and D. So what's the relation between ICD and IAB? That can be shown by this formula. ICD is equal to beta IAB. And what is beta? It is the ratio of the ICD or IAB, and that is normally called a current gain. As far as the practical example of the current control current source is concerned, bipolar junction transistor used in an amplifier circuit can be considered as the current control current source. If you see the transistor here, if there is any change in the input current, which is IAB, that will affect the output current, which is the collector current. Hence, this is a perfect example of the current control current source. Thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.